didn't used to be this way. Him running himself ragged, bending over backwards in attempts to catch favor of some bigot. I wish I could make sense of it. I wish I could understand, but I just can't. It isn't him. It isn't who he is. Well, it definitely isn't who he was. I honestly don't clearly remember how or when it happened. Rather, he must have evolved slowly, seemingly falling deeper and deeper into his fascination and obsession without even realizing it. He used to love me. Oh, he says he still does, but my, how he used to love me. The kind of love that makes you feel intoxicated, <laughs> walking through clouds. Many people claim that this is the honeymoon phase. Well, here we are, 30 years in, and, well, at least for the first 28, it never went away. Until him, what once felt like a sweet, loving intoxication, has boiled into a dark loneliness, and my dearest organ wa wastes no breath in anything other than serving Tartuffe. I, I know I sound jealous, but I'm not. I'm not the jealous type. Orgon has had his travels and his whims and his hobbies and his fascinations, and never once has he turned his eye from me. <laughs> the hate, uh, it, it, it isn't about his eye, it, it's, it's about his entire being and how it's turned from his entire family and his values. This, this is more than an infatuation. He, he's hypnotized. He's bewitched, entranced by the charisma of this hypocrite. The hate he hears from him spew is unimaginable, and yet somehow he manages to lace it with syrup and a candy coating for his followers to swallow with pride and ignorance. I wish you could see himself. He'd be disgusted. Instead, he's simply lost. It, oh, it has to stop. We have to stop him. For us, for Damas, for me, for Marianne, Cleant, all of us, we need our Oregon back. I need my Oregon back. My Oregon.